Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Vinyl Talk with Tavis, and I'm Tavis. Today, I'm going to teach you how to digitize your vinyl records using your Audio-Technica LP120X USB. It has the capability of doing that. So I'm also going to be using my MacBook Pro. This is a 2017 MacBook Pro. And on it, it has GarageBand, the version 10.3.4. And so we're going to digitize Rimsky Korsakoff's Flight of the Bumblebee. You're going to need two additional things. The first thing is your USB out cable. This portion plugs into the back of your turntable, and this is going to plug into your laptop. However, you're going to need a USB-C to USB adapter, which looks like this. This portion is going to fit into your laptop, and this portion is going to plug in to the end of your USB out cable, like that. Here's the back of the turntable that has the USB outlet, as you can see. I'm going to put this right in there. In the back, you have the option to select line or phono. Please make sure that you have the line option selected. Now we're going to take our adapter and plug it into the USB out cable, like so. Now we're going to take this end and plug it into our MacBook Pro. You're also going to need a good pair of headphones. Be sure to plug your headphones into the earphone plug on your laptop. Hey there, everybody. Now I'm on my screen to show you how to use GarageBand. I'm going to shrink myself down, and I have GarageBand open, and I'm going to create a new project, or an empty project. And it's asking, or it's going to tell me that my instrument is connected with USB audio codec, which is the turntable, and that's what you want. You want your input to show that it's connected to the USB audio codec. I'm going to click Create. And then we have an audio track open right here. Make sure you have your headphones on so that you can hear the music that you're going to be recording into GarageBand. Now, I'm going to start my turntable. And I'm going to listen to it, the music, to see if it's too loud or too soft. I hear it. I'm going to boot myself, and as I listen to the music, I'm looking at these gauges right here, the volume, to see if it's reaching any red peaks. It's still in the green, so that's a good thing. And also this part right here, there's no red showing, so that's good. I'm going to stop the music. Now I'm going to turn off this metronome and this one, two, three, four count in. Make sure that it's grayed out. And I'm going to push the record button. When you see the red going across the screen, it's recording whatever your needle is going to play. Now I'm going to place the needle where I want it to be. <laughs> I see that it's working, it's recording. Thank <laughs> you. 
Now I'm going to lift my tone arm up and put it back to where it needs to be. Clamp it. Now we're going to edit the recording. Now once you have finished the recording, you want to clip what you don't want. I'm going to go to the part of the song where it begins, right here. I know that's where it begins. So I'm going to click Command T and delete that. I'm going to highlight what I do have. I'm going to press down my trackpad and I'm going to drag the track to the beginning. Yes. And now I'm going to go back to the beginning of the piece. I'm going to push play right here and I can hear it through my headphones what it sounds like. Awesome. And I can go all the way to the end of the piece. And that's where it ends. Now, if I feel like the music needs to be a little bit louder before I actually make a WAV file or an MP3 file, I can use this little dial here, or this gauge, and bring the volume up a little bit to like maybe two. I'm going to go back and listen to it again. Now so far things look really good. I have the flight of the bumblebee on GarageBand. Now I'm going to go up here to where it says share and I'm going to export the song to disk. and I'm going to choose the mp3. I can name the song what I want. In this case it's going to be Light of the Bumblebee. And now we want it to go to the desktop. But you can choose any place you want it to be exported to. I'm going to click Export. It does its magic. It bounces and converts. Now I'm going to exit GarageBand. Oh, in this case, I don't want to save it. Now I'm going to go to my music. And right here is the flight of the bumblebee. <laughs> in perfect form. It sounds great. Now after you've done that, you can bring it into your iTunes library and you can share it, you can burn it to a CD or whatever you want. Okay? So that's how you digitize your music using your Audio-Technica LP120X USB and your MacBook Pro, and GarageBand. I hope this was helpful. If you need any more tips about it, please let me know in the comments below. And as always, with music, be inspired and stay inspired.